Stars. Are we live? Stars. Yeah, okay, we're live. Alrighty. Well, well, turns out I gotta work tomorrow, so we can only stream for three or four hours. So let's get the fuck to it. <laughs> Oh, uh, we did some, um, I, I, I played this game, I had, uh, half a day today, so I played this, I started another, you know, uh, run, that's what all this is about, and I did get farther than I did on stream. So, yeah, we're... We're, at, we're as Carlos spoilers later on. Auto. Oh, that's the auto save. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck? Did he overwrite one of my goddamn jail saves? No. So. So I have an idea what's coming. Hopefully it'll make this a little smoother. Some of the parts that I, uh did this afternoon were quite sticky wickets. <laughs> Doing her best to suppress her disgust. <laughs> Jill has been sent down to downtown Raccoon City with a laundry list of uh, um, things to do. <laughs> nope! I am not beating this tonight because I have to work tomorrow. So I can only stream till like, you know, 2 o'clock at the latest. My, uh... Now, let me see something here. Hmm. We, uh, that might come into play later. Even though I would swear that that fucking thing had a, uh, garbage can next to it, meaning you could discard it. But we'll see. But I, I actually did see some chained up stuff later on in the game. Okay, do we have the shotgun? Yeah, okay. I keep forgetting. You know what? I hate having a messy inventory. All right. Back into the subway. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! I have the other costumes on. Thirty to forty minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's hoping to get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for her. She's unreliable. Oh, yeah? <laughs> pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. When there's a dying man on the ground who might be infected. <laughs> you know. Be Carlos with this hair looks a little like Hank Azaria to me. <laughs> Everyone's a little worked up. <laughs> Oh, I don't get extra pay for anything. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. There are two ways to deal with Nemi right here. Um... Waste a grenade... Or lure him here. I will take your supplies case, thank you very much. Now's my chance. Yeah, now's your chance. Where the fuck is the door? I forgot. Oh, fuck me, I forgot. No. 
We gotta move, Jill. There we go. People were actually complaining that her classic costume it is not a skirt, but jorts, because they feel cheated that they don't get panty shots. <laughs> like, I mean, Christ, if you're playing this on PC, you can mod in whatever you want anyway, but Jesus Christ, people, calm down. Okay. Let's uh do some looting. This is one of the few maps you get in the game actually. A map of the area. Perfect. All right. Uh we have a first aid spray. I'll pop that off. Bring in a green herb. I forget what you get out of that one. Mm. You know, you go to the trouble of fighting friggin' uh, Nemesis, and you, you really don't get the rewards. <laughs> like, the old game, you used to get, like, really good rewards. Uh, I don't think I need my handgun in here. I think this is Shotgun City. And you end up using um, a lot of inventory space down here. Okay. Uh, you might want to equip the only gun you got, Jill. Thank you. It's funny. You come down here, and all you're thinking of is how tough the first time you went through the sewers in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> you're like, oh, I do not want to do this. Oh, what was that? Uh, we don't want to go there yet, I don't think. Or is this locked with the stupid thing? Wait do you see this bullshit. <laughs> Uh, we've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Yeah. Wait till you see this fucking thing. <laughs> every poor, every poor bastard slogging through the shit... <laughs> Some sewers of Raccoon City has to carry around a battery the size of a car battery. It takes up two slots in your inventory. Whee! Oh, I'm definitely burning these clothes. Okay. I don't think I can do anything up here yet. I'm just double checking. If this is the spiral stairs, I know. Yeah, I can't do anything there. It's, I'll, I'll tell you a little, uh, oh, that's where that is, okay. He doesn't adapt. No two nemesis encounters in this game are the same. Uh, let me just check my map real quick. Yeah, I d okay. Oh, hello! are instant kills and get used to instant kills in this game <laughs> uh. 
Explosive rounds? What could I possibly use those for? Uh, research assistant log. March 4th, gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. April 18th, experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment for positive results uh, with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Yeah, there. Could have told me that a little while ago. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle one specimen... Oh, some specimens, excuse me, uh, out with uh, especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. Two weeks since relocation to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma's quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. They were letting these things run around underground. <laughs> this seems a tad um, dishonest. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gammas promptly eliminated him. <laughs> this proves their ability for field uh, viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they'll see the light. Yeah. Oh, invoice. Jesus, more reading. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, please be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model, and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note on reverse. Explosive rounds, flame rounds, acid rounds, mine rounds, yada yada yada. Now, I yada 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 that, but it's going to become very important pretty soon. Um, anything else in here? No. Okay, did we... I don't bother making explosive rounds. I would have sworn I had a green, but I guess I don't. See, the bolt cutter says the, the garbage can there, but I swear you can use this those later in the game. I have to, to look into that. Um, right now, we need to store that and save. Where did they stick grenade launcher? Okay. Nothing about this game, there's very little consistency in where they stick your weapons when you first pick them up if you don't have other things equipped. So you get, I manually stick them where I want them, just to avoid confusion in the heat of the moment. All right. Now there's a secret. Ooh, it need lovely. There is a secret under a waterfall. Did I miss the turn? Nope. I didn't... Yeah, I'm an idiot. There he is. Hello. Now, much like Lickers in RE2, if they manage to stay on fire, it's a one-hit kill. <laughs> That's a big if, though. They have a tendency to, like, just kind of put themselves out inexplicably. <clears throat> okay. That was not a pleasant sound. There's a... Yeah, more fire grenades. Good.
Now, when I did this this afternoon, I had no inventory, and it felt like uh, there's a lot of junk in this room. I had to make two trips back to the save room because I was still carrying my handgun and all that other crap. Here's your battery pack. It takes up two fucking slots. <laughs> High grade gunpowder. I brought the lockpick, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Explosive A, which I should have brought the other. There's a herb in here too, but I can mix these right away. And if worse comes to worse, I can fire off one round of uh, shotgun shells <clears throat> and get a little more inventory. A love letter. <laughs> My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies, brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series, and yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your dis delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? <laughs> it is the mo those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Yeah. So after you've encountered, what, three or four of those fuckers already? Oh yeah, use heat on them and wait till their mouth is open. There's a lot of enemies like that in the game, though. Even those, um, the nemesis zombies. Oh, I missed something in that little hallway. <laughs> <clears throat> you, you have to wait until they open their little faces up to uh, kill them. Alright, so now we have the battery pack. And uh, we probably... Am I? Not yet. Somewhere in here I missed something. Um, okay. Dun, dun, I don't trust the game not to repop these assholes, so we're not going to... Yep. These things are nowhere near as disturbing as the, um... Those weird creatures in the sewers of RE2, though. These guys are just kind of big fish thingies. Oh, yeah, there we go. Where the hell did I miss something? Oh! The waterfall! Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> That's good sewage. Oh, I don't have any way to do this without expelling a shotgun shell. Son of a bitch. Sewer worker notes. <clears throat> It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him all, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said they probably he'd probably skip town, but I said no way. Now it's baby I'm coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Face <laughs> fucking puke breathing toad face motherfuckers. <laughs> Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows his face, I'm going to hit it right in its big, ugly mouth. Yeah, how'd that go for you, buddy? So. They had monsters running around, and they just let everybody, you know, work. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you? Okay, yeah, that was where I needed to go. We did the lab. Now that we have the battery, we can open the damn doors. This is a section that can be very... Oh, hi! Alright, you got way closer than I wanted you to. You gonna burn? Thank you. It, oh, you better be fucking dead.
So yeah, I had to backtrack all over this place. Um, when I first did this. Goofy thing is, you have to leave the damn thing in there. The security system is stupid. <laughs> I don't think we're going to run into... Oh, I don't have any ammo anyway. I shouldn't be rolling! Okay, that one took one more shot than it usually does. I must have missed him. Alright. No, just unlock it, Jill. Don't have to run into it. So yeah, you have to leave the battery in there uh, to keep the door unlocked, which is just kind of dopey. You know, I'm going to use that green herb. I don't like running around in caution. Ooh, I forgot the pouch was in here. That's two greens, right? I need a, a yellow. That is a very good room. Okay. Down the hall we go. It's a good place for a fire extinguisher, because Lord knows you don't want the sewage to catch on fire. Although, given the amount of methane gas down here, you're probably dead if somebody strikes as much as a match. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I might have to make explosive rounds. Oh, that doesn't look like a goddamn death trap hallway. Hello? Anybody home? Carlos, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Uh, no, we don't wear masks. And even if I wanted to wear a mask, uh, there's not a mask to be found in New Jersey. I looked. <laughs> I went to five different stores because, uh... Oh, hi, Nemesis! I am so woefully unprepared for this fight! Ooh, if I had a grenade, I wonder if I could have knocked him down. I wonder if I'm missing something. Hmm. You can use weapons. That's right. Don't stop. I forgot. Yep. Nice dodge, dickhead. Y you think, Jill? Oh, you gotta hold it. Jesus. What did I fuck up? 
Oh, there's a ladder. Good lord, I'm blind. Sorry. That's alright. Rubber band scripting anyway. Oh, it's a good thing fire only affects you if it hits you. <laughs> I don't want to know who it, Umbrella was like. We created this super monster. He's totally, almost, you know, virtually indestructible. Um, and he's got tentacles in his arms, and, and, you know, he's super strong, and he likes to beat the shit out of his opponents and everything. What do you think he needs? Um, giant flamethrower sounds cool. <laughs> Make it so. <laughs> oh. Got this, Jill. Move it. Okay. And there is a save room here. I don't. Hmm. Should I make the grenade rounds and keep this? I gotta keep those shotgun shells, and I need the handgun. We can pick up a lot of shit around here, though. Alright, um... I think we're alright, because we can, uh... Ah, god damn it, we got explosive B in there. Oh, you know what I need is the hand grenade. Okay. We're good. I'm not saying I ain't gonna die here. I'm saying I am prepared. <laughs> Okay, everything is where it should be. I love how Jill is talking shit to him. Yeah, we're out. <laughs> See ya. Oh boy. Oh fuck, he's doing that already? Jesus. Wow, I must have hit him more than I th thought I did. Oh, you are still coming, huh? Oh yeah, there's something over there too, I gotta remember. Oh lord. Tee hee, motherfucker! <laughs> are not happy with me, are you? I hit him on the head! <laughs> Shit. I didn't grab those handgun bullets. Okay, this section is very Tomb Raider. <laughs>
That didn't go too badly, though, in all honesty. Like, this game couldn't feel less like re the Resident Evil 2 remake if it tried. Okay, um, gun me. Okay, everything is reloaded. Good. Alright. Wow, how fucked up are we? We are very fucked up. Good lord. Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You alright? Yeah. Bastard's dead. I think. I keep saying that and he keeps not being dead. <laughs> you could have been killed. I'm just Don't looking for start. uh bobbleheads. I, I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Just gonna use our convenient little uh, scaffolding here. Hey, buddy! Come on, you know you want to be over here. You, get up! All right, is that everybody? Surprise! I might have missed... Yeah, I missed one. Because I was thinking there was four. Fucking zombies think they're fucking Neo. down here before. I wonder if there's a um, herb down here or anything. Nothing. Ooh, what have we here? High grade gunpowder. So, anybody who played 2 should recognize where we are. Oh, you are so not dead. I think you are now. Um, we are at the entrance to the sewers in Resident Evil 2. At good old Kendo's Gun Shop. And you're about to find out why this place was picked clean <laughs> when uh, when Ada and Leon showed up here. <laughs> hmm. Luckily, and I was very surprised about this, this does not turn the shotgun into a double... Um, oh, yes, it does. Shit. Never mind me, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we can combine these. Handgun bullets here. There is a uh, gunpowder. Hey, look who it is! Oh, all right, it's a stretch. Sorry, 
I get a little jumpy there. Yeah, man, I'm pretty fucking far from okay. Shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. I am kind of hungry for a sandwich. We can use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, just bad timing is all. Well, look, uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> no, 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 not me. I, I'm totally fine. Take care, Jill. Totally don't have my daughter's slowly zombifying <laughs> body in here. So, uh, kind of boned. I'm looking for some way out of this that doesn't require me to waste this, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, I can't use it. That's interesting. Is there a box here? There's a box here, you dummy. Resident Evil doesn't do that. At least these versions don't. Um, what can I drop? I think I can get rid of the grenade launcher now? No, I can't. <laughs> we gotta kinda keep most of this. I guess we'll dump the excess of that. Oh, and yeah, we probably should save. Is there anything else in here I missed? No, I didn't. Okay. I was actually just curious about that. Oh, I'm sure you're totally dead. Ugh. These guys are a ginormous pain in the ass. Can he hit me through the fucking stairs? Fuck this. Come here, buddy. Okay, I was thinking about running back to Kendo's, but I'm pretty sure uh, there's another... Oh, I am so wrong. Okay. I am going to run back to Kendo's and dump this shit. Gotta do it. Dump that. We'll take out a green herb. Uh, I can dump that. I think I'm going to get rid of the flame rounds for now. I got to keep that grenade in case we run across Nemi again. Because my memory ain't so good. I mean, my memory's good enough to know that we're going to see him again. I just don't remember quite when. God damn. Fucked him up. <laughs> yeah. 
Gotta stop racing through doors willy-nilly. I catch a bit. Like a lot. You motherfucker. Range on that horse shit. I don't know how many houses you've ever been in. Very rarely does a hallway lead upstairs to a one room <laughs> off the main stairwell. Alright, raccoon sit time, reader's column. I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than a toy uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles and like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. 69, dude! More explosive rounds, so that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, so somebody tossed him a box. And what's in the box? A fucking grenade launcher. Now there's that electronic generator there, but he will not come down that hallway while you can shoot it. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass. No! Are you shitting me? I thought you killed it. Well, I did. I thought I killed it too, goddammit. A vacation. Okay, there is something in front of me. Oh, yeah. A first aid spray, which is nice. How about am I? Oh, I'm fine. I'm pff, I'm fine. Did I? Yeah, okay. Okay, guy who's working for the Insidious Corporation that started this. Yeah, remember that note? 
<laughs> you said it, Jill. <laughs> it's fucking outrageous. Sure thing, Carlos. Man, I made it through there relatively unscathed. The first time I did this, I got fucked up. I gotta admit, it's pretty badass. <laughs> He's like, Jill, why do you smell like the fucking sewer? <laughs> Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, and you'll be safe. I didn't... Oh, this is up here. Okay. Alright, we're good. Although... Yeah, we're good. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. You know what? I might um, switch them back to their old costumes. I miss Carlos's uh, hair. <laughs> is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. This isn't the last bite out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right, you go on ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters when is your own. Good luck. Yeah, okay, Russian Loki. Let's go. Love lift us up where we belong. <laughs> so you don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I haven't done good authority. Uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> what was that? I, I I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I sure am glad we got to know all those people. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! 
You son of a bitch. Get off my train, shit bird. Alas, poor Mikhail, we barely knew ye. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your it's been a while. Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. She's oddly sexless for a beautiful woman. <laughs> well, All right. Keep your look where we video. are. This is the police station. You sure? What do we got? It looks like a cemetery. To me. What do we got? Okay, we're good. Welcome to Assay Reuse PD. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure about that. Uh, like, I don't know if he was just hanging on to his humanity or what. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get. You hear that fucker? Now, much like Resident Evil 2, Brad is a bit of a super zombie. Open. That could be useful. To get me in Where with Jill. Don't know, don't care. We got a job so now we know that Brad bit... Um, Find him and take him into custody. What the hell's his name? Oh my god, that's Custard? terrible. I thought this was a rescue. Marvin. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star. Yeah, uh, okay. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Yeah, hey, I'll go roam the. Be careful. Yeah, I'll go roam the monster-infested halls, and you stay here on the laptop. Also, um, their item boxes are not linked. Uh, there's something in here real quick, but we're gonna. ID security protocol. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card from now on. The same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. So that's the reason you want to kill, waste the ammo on Brad. Other than the fact that, let's face it, everybody likes to kill Brad. That's what he gets for leaving everybody uh, during the Arkley ma uh, mansion incident. Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for Bard. There are some goodies in here. Limited goodies. But some goodies. Some bullets upstairs. Area looks cool. I can't believe they're, they're doing... Are they doing Empty Arena WrestleMania? For two days? That's an interesting take.
anytime you don't have audience interaction with a wrestling match, like uh, the most famous one I would think is the um, the Broiler Room Mankind Undertaker match. Uh, like the lack of audience participation is really fucking weird. Oh, okay, I thought there was something over here. There's not. To me, at least. I think it's disconcerting for the wrestlers, too. All right. What the hell was that thing? So, much like the PS1 versions of these games, there's a weird time overlap between 2 and 3. Um... But the RPD thing still doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. You'll see why in a little bit. Not that I really care. It's a zombie game. We go. Okay. I have learned not to trust zombies. They look like, like they're down. That fucking thing. <laughs> but they're never down. Horse shit. Oh yeah, Carlos has a cool charge. He doesn't have a dodge like Jill. Right. Big warm RPD welcome. Oh, I have a knife with Carlos, and Carlos is a much better stabber. Carlos is an old school stabber. Um So it is fun to revisit RBD. So it's like, it's a little like going home, but there's still enough variety in it that uh, it isn't repetitive. Like, you're not like, oh, fuck, I'm back here again. You're like, oh, fuck, I'm back here again. <laughs> Now, there's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Yeah, you, you, you didn't mention the goddamn thing that uh, killed the officers. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck? I thought I was at... almost full health! Holy shit! <laughs> that is kind of funny. Oh, come on. You fucking checkpointed me there. I didn't save? Alright, that is absolutely 100% my fucking fault.
I would have sworn I saved, but I didn't. Come get some. These stars. That could be useful. Hey, you done yet? <laughs> it's open. It's open. Thanks. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. It is a rescue. Yeah, busy. Carlos, get your ass over here. What are you going to do? Shoot me? Area looks clear. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm just making sure there's nothing here that's going to bite your ass while you're staring at the laptop. Remember. Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. With bullets. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Okay. Really should have done that last time. Alright. I think I came in here way faster than the game expects me to because that was the second time they're like, uh, yeah, we're not done loading what's behind this door yet, so you don't get to go in quite yet. This first uh, guy I can totally take with the gun. I didn't stick around. Uh, here we go. These things are, like, inexplicably able to... Like, you're going for headshots, but their heads wobble like a fucking Funko Pop. <laughs> okay. Again, it's not that I don't... Hey, I finally didn't jump. the fastest this guy's ever moved in his life. Uh, you know, I should have thrown a goddamn flash grenade. I wasn't even thinking of that. You dead? Yeah, okay. I don't like leaving this bitch alive. Hey! You know, you, you, you can come out? PD welcome. So you notice that the, the um There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. It's not my six I have to worry about. It's my goddamn twelve.
not a good time to reload. Fuck me, go down. Now, I obliterated just about everybody's face, right? I am guaranteeing you one of these shitheads is still alive. Like, zombies in this game... Oh! You shitbird! They're very durable. Come on, fucko. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, you got a friend. Hey. There you go. <laughs> I am on caution. That's where I came out of. That piece of garbage is still alive. <sighs> I wish I could say I was surprised. I'm not. That's a funky effect. There's somebody behind me. <laughs> Is like still sticking through the door? That is a neat trick, sir. <laughs> You son of a cunt. That's something I really don't like about this game. Like, they shouldn't come back after double tapping them. Uh, occupation unemployed, uh, former electrician. Car charges unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative, suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when question began. Then at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Uh, one, once questioning res resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why didn't anyone understand? The corpse is attacked from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. You gotta blow it up before, uh, or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming, soon. Gotta hurry, burn them. Burn the corpses, burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. <laughs> questioning was ended, and a sedative was administered. Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safe deposit room. Basically telling you you're, you've got a fetch quest.
All right, I can't open that door. But you know what we can do, which is pretty interesting, and the first of the, huh, how is that possible, is the safe. And it's the same as the uh, Resident Evil 2, 9.15.7. Whoops. Which means somebody brought something back and put it in back in the safe, like. Um. You motherfucking. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up that they're turning into zombies, too, Carlos. If cameras killed those things, I'd be set. I am not sure if that's a Fatal Frame reference or not. <laughs> I am going to lean that it is, because that's just that much cooler. Internal menu, office by internal relocations office. This is actually just about telling you how the uh Wait, do I have two red herbs? Jesus. Kind of a little fucked up. I mean, I know there's health upstairs. I'm just a little... Thank God we're not at the other part of this. Although there's a part coming up that's going to be a little troublesome, too. <laughs> Carlos, the stars office is up ahead. Copy that. Yeah, I'm busy bleeding out. Thanks. Why is it blocked? Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? Not taking any fucking chances. There we go, Jesus. That they had me sweating there for a while. Uh, I think this is DMs DNC D or is this cap? This is cap. Nope, this is DNC. Uh, DCM rather. I knew it was the Devil May Cry letters. I just forgot which order they go in.
Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. Pretty sure I seen, uh, sent one to the safe deposit room during last uh, intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safe deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. Hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open that locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about the $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift toward your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. This is Cap. That's another flash grenade. We're going to need that. That's uh, another green herb. We're going to need that, too. So we can't do anything down there yet. Okay. You know what? We're going to coward save because uh, there's a confrontation coming up. And it's not. It can be hit or miss on how difficult this is. Alright, not terrible. Not great. Not terrible. That liquor is really tough with the uh with his um machine gun. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just how they move or what. I knew that already. Oh, I forgot about you, you little shit. <laughs> 109, 106, 104. Sure, there isn't another one over here. Okay. And there we go. No note about the keys. <laughs> Continuity. Mine now. Come to Papa. So, Claire could have had all this shit. <laughs> I am, you know what, we're going to have to, oh. I haven't had to discard an item yet. We're going to coward save again, because uh, there's something really goofy coming up. And the first time through with this game, I don't give a shit how many times I save. Uh, Alright. Oh, you did. Dead in with the terminal here. Got a 
Copy that. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to blow a wall out, so, uh... <laughs> Sorry, needed that. A drink. Um, it is interesting that the bathroom wall in here is in such disrepair. <laughs> move. You could have given yourself more than three seconds, Carlos. Alright, we set off the steam behind us. And every zombie left in the RPD was in here. I keep trying to um, dodge like I'm Jill, but I'm not. I'm Carlos. Oh my god. There's a fucking liquor in here, too. God damn it. That hallway is a goddamn nightmare. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, that could be any one of five no hospitals. <laughs> Negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. Stupid. It's gone crazy. <laughs> They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. What? what? Can I do both? I like them already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check. I like how he says Mihail. So trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. And uh, Chris's letter isn't here. <laughs> uh, there's a red herb here. First aid spray. Item box. Is that Jill in the front row? Sure looks like it. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in the mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. 
However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Uh, yeah. Although, I hate leaving bullets and shit behind, but, uh... Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Yeah. Ah, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. So you never actually have to go through that hallway again, which is why I don't bother killing anything. I just gotta get... It's like a gauntlet you just gotta kind of get through. Several minutes earlier. <laughs> Once again, Jill staggers away from explosions. Okay. Ah, the save room theme. Carlos, come in. Carlos? New weaponry notice. Oh, God, this one. Good news, limp dicks. I got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard-issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or to the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they would get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path, and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Alright, we're, um... More mine rounds. Ooh. There's a weird thing about this grenade launcher. It once it's full of something, you, you can't like just take them out. You have to use them. And I need everything here pretty much except the handgun bullets maybe. Grenade, regular grenade, da, 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 first aid spray. Christ, I got three heals. Oh, I forgot to do that, too. Let's see. Explosive B. I can take out the four shotgun shells. And I think I'd rather have the flame rounds. Oh, whoa. I almost did that. I almost did something incredibly stupid again. Oh, hey, fellas. I don't fucking trust her. <laughs> Even though I hit her in the face with a shotgun. Okay. 
I also don't trust you. Why didn't you get up? There was a bobblehead right there. I got it already. Oh! Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, everybody! You do get an achievement for killing more than one enemy with one shotgun blast. And that's where I found that out, I think. <laughs> that fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. Shit. I'm going back if I can. I need to free up some fucking inventory space. I forgot about this section. <sighs> Let's see. I mean, we don't need all these. I'm really tempted to just leave the damn handgun now. There was a green one up there, right? Yeah, okay. You have to be a little thorough. There's a lot of stuff uh, scattered around here. Uh, the clock tower. Yeah. Um, umbrella rebuilt it. Yada, yada, yada. Not reading that. <laughs> I knew it was in there too. <laughs> like, god damn it, I need it. One shotgun shell for a full health is a good trade. Not a great trade, but a good trade. He's a flamer. Bitch can't swim. 
Chill. Respond. Your attitude toward him is a little flippant, <laughs> considering how much he's been up our ass. Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Jill! Jill, what happened? The man behind the mask! Look at this fucking thing. So yeah, Nemi is going through some changes. I fucking dodged that. There we go. Now, all around here, like, for the first part of this, you really want to play tag or hide and seek with, uh, with them around this, uh, fountain. And you want to, um,. Empty out your, uh. For fuck's sake, she auto loaded the goddamn flame rounds! That is not what I wanted! Okay, so he goes uh, into phase two, I think, now? Yeah. So he is just going to race around the arena unless you stop him. Um, and I need to hit that. Oh, well, you don't want to see what's happening, trust me. Yeah, he is not happy with you. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. You know what? We might grenade his ass this time just to... Fuck me. Yeah, I tried to dodge that. Nothing doing. Now, I need to get more shit, so... What I really need, there's mines here.
See, they won't let you fucking load what you want. Oh, yeah, they do. Dodge there. Not there. This is taking a lot of ammo. Jesus Christ. Jill is very arrogant. <laughs> Carlos, okay. Oh, Alright. We gotta go around and get everything we didn't get yet. Yeah, I totally missed <laughs> a lot of extra ammo. <laughs> Made that a little hairier than it needed to be. Okay. Let's get the flock out of here. Never turn your back on your enemy, <laughs> Jill. This is a war of attrition, man. Half a day, twelve hours later. Jill, <laughs> hey, answer me. God damn it, Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Doctor Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. <sighs> Hang in there, super cop. I got you. He's going to do this through a zombie infested city. <laughs>
There you go. I'm sure these sheets are clean. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Or at least some baby aspirin. Oh, I was wondering why that is, but um, eventually you'll have a vaccine to give her, so they have to put that in there. Alright, uh, do I still have... I have a red herb and an ID card. Kind of worthless. But we are definitely going to save. Good to see your average Hello. ER waiting room has machine gun ammo. Conversely, you should see first aid spray in a hospital. See now, there's a chained door. And if Jill wakes up, I can use... I'm wondering if I can use the... Uh, supposedly... Finished... Um, the, the cutters that we're finished using to open it. I don't know, though. going to be a fun experiment. Alright. Seriously, I have got to stop running through doors. Fulfilling life comes from good health. Where's his buddy over there? Fuck me. Guy's dodging machine gun bullets for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've got time for this. I ain't got time to bleed. You did. me he's up to, huh? These guys are testing me. <laughs> Unlike the hospital in the... Uh-oh, hold on. I got an itchy ear. Sorry. <laughs> Unlike the hospital in the original game, this one's pretty large. Uh, and there's quite a bit to do. Did I put a bullet hole in the TV? I didn't mean to do that. I think there's something over here that... Um... Yep. Which I'm pretty sure means that you're going to run through here as Jill. Yep. 
Yeah. I can't do what needs to be I would, but I don't think you'd let me in. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? <laughs> what kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? This thing really needs an extended mag. Fucking whore. That one I didn't even see. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Are you goddamn kidding me? I mean, come on. Hey there, teddy bear. Okay, we're locked. Up the stairs we go. And you ain't got no head. I don't give a shit about you. I am dangerously low on ammo. <laughs> you know what? In you can't trust. In Resident Evil 2, you could do that before they fucking got up. Not in this game. <laughs> I'm low on ammo, I'm low on health.
There's a journal, September 27th. A minute over 20 mystery illness patients, patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. P possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Good luck. Okay, I'm wondering if I should take this green herb now or store it. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. So there's a couple things we need to do while we're up here. Memo from administration. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you, administration. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it in, somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Alrighty then. We tried, I swear to God we tried. There's nothing else to be done. The chaos is simply beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it will be the end of us. I can't believe we abandoned our patients. It's the worst scene imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately start crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant. And all we left now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota. I feel so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me! Okay. That is a weird fucking sound. And I didn't bring the regular grenade because I'm a moron. Okay. This may take a couple tries. Oh. Never mind. We ain't there yet. The hell is making that noise? Hmm, let's well, see up here. This one I don't know the combo to. Note about a tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients will have it remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during night shift. Just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let him destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and I will get his and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. The 
fuck is making that noise? Oh! 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 I think he's stuck over there. Nope. I fucking dodged that shit, piece of garbage. He's up again, too. Great. I'm dead. Fucking zombie bites in this game are no joke, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I know I'm dead. Yeah, if I had a shotgun, that'd be nice. I don't. It's not that I didn't have health. I had health. Interesting, that sound sounds like a, um, when you pick up something in Call of Duty. There's a lot of ammo in this hospital. <laughs> okay. Not this way. Okay, he's dead, right? Oh, God. I knew it. Now, he didn't move, so I'm going to think he's okay. See what's in here first. 
I can combine that with the red one in the other room. I don't trust you, booty shorts. He did. Another hand grenade. Damn, Sarah, that is not a good way to go. Well, we might as well coward save and get that health. At least now we don't have to do all that over again. Oh, I forgot that was there. <sighs> All right, let's grab this first. And then we unlock this door. Something tells me... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look at that fucking poster. Okay. Now there is another place to jump, but I think that was where I jumped to. So I think we're good. We got the key. Did I bring grenades? Yes, I did. Good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, you might have... Uh, Notice that little sucker that was running by? Yeah, that's a hunter. Um, I'm just trying to see where I should go first. If maybe I should do this first. And save. <laughs> okay, this is locked from in there. And see, here's the other jump, but I believe that sends you back to where we were? Now I'm not so sure. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this no open. Yeah, I gotta go. That's my only alternative.
Fuck you, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I know what's coming. Well, shit. <laughs> Could have picked that up an hour and a half ago. Um... What are we doing? Is that the staff room key I have? Yes, it's the staff room key I have. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's only clothes and shit. Oh, there's a flash grenade. I was gonna say, there's just locker stuff in here. <laughs> Hospital ID cards. Yes, we like those. Why didn't that discard? Thank you. All right. Now, why does it keep saying there's something over there? To my right. Oh, yeah, that's the lockpick. You see that little thing up in the left, upper left-hand corner? Uh, that's your best way to know dangers afoot. Okay, Jesus that worked. Christ. Ooh, okay, that's very good. Those fucking hunters take so their bullet sponges because they have armor. You have to shoot their armor off and then shoot the fucking stuff underneath. They are a pain in the balls. And they can kill you with full health with one swipe if they get too close. They're really obnoxiously dangerous, which is why we're saving again. And I think that we've, we've caught up to where I was this, um... Uh, this afternoon, actually. So we are now uh, braving new ground, as it were. So go there, turn left. No, that's the safe. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around. Pray there isn't another one of those pricks up here. I got a card for that. Pick a card. Oh, it's saved again. Yeah, fuck you. Pardon me. <laughs> Will you come to the door? Like a good zombie? Yeah, 
You know, that time, because the door wouldn't close, I thought she was still alive. Did you see this? He fucking missed that initial fucking lunge. Okay. First off, let's unlock this fucking door. Okay, we definitely want to go in the treatment room, but I want to pick this place clean first. Damn, there's a lot of uh, lockpick um, doors up here. Motherfucker! I'll take unfair bullshit for two hundred dollars, Alex. Well, I gotta get in there. Shit, there's another one. Well, fuck me sideways. Who the fuck is he? Can you tell I'm fucking scared of these assholes? No, I don't want to try assisted, you cunt. I'm lucky to not throw an enemy in there that can kill you in one hit. <sighs> okay. I don't know why I didn't see that the first time I came through here. 
I will say I'm impressed that they gave me a... Oh, okay, 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 okay. They walk right through fucking machine gun fire. It's really amazing. I don't know if I got the other one. <laughs> wow, was that lucky. Wow, was that lucky. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm going to have to clip that one. What, what time was that? <laughs> the 144 minute mark. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Alright, so what I'm looking for... Oh, hey, the audio is a good tape. That's good. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Man, this is a heavy room to have, like, just the machine gun ammo and the tape in here. <gasps> okay, and I still haven't found the safe... Um, combo yet. But we can go downstairs now and go back to Dr. Burton, can, uh, Dr. whatever his name is, his office, and get that cure. And we're gonna... Oh, fuck! I was about to say we're gonna save. We gotta make a, a straight run. Where is that asshole? Who the fuck are you? Of course, he might be over here now. Am I going? Great. I'm sure that door's gonna hold.
He was here before. The music says that one of these cunts is still alive. I don't trust you at all. Okay. Holy shit! Wait. Okay, no, for a minute there, I thought that was the car from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> I was like, there's an Easter egg for you. Um... Degree. Of course I am. <laughs> He's a charmer, he is. Okay, they're giving me a lot of ammo in here. <laughs> oh. Hey, Doc. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Yeah, but I'm not a hacker. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to the banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel. <coughs> Excuse me. Where we'll be exchang we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warden, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th. The Orient Restaurant. The Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Oh, shit. There was an ex another page. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug you as in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Ions know. I am not getting any vaccines, but man, am I getting a lot of um, ammo. <laughs> Email from Nathaniel Bard to Greg Tester. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. Uh, the dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to let me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here with the UBCS involved without the UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate! Ciao! This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29th, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. You too late, buddy. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board... They want to destroy it. 
They don't want the world to know. Why would they want to destroy it? So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Oh. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... She knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. You did save her life. Fuck! <laughs> well, punching the screen always opens the door around here. No, he said it's underground. Oh. Okay. Hang tight. Wow, I expected like a an, a big underground T, section. I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful. <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. One flash grenade. Where's Jill? In the operating room. Why, thank you. I will take that. <laughs> that was very generous of you. Okay, we can get rid of this now. Carlos is going to fucking war. But where the hell is Jill? Oh, in there. Okay. Wait, where the fuck is Jill? Lab reception. Oh, okay. I gotta go left. Well, what is that? Oh, it's a courtyard, right? I need. I can't get there. Where the fuck did he go? I really don't like that he fucked off. Why am I completely lost? <laughs> no, this is the lab. Okay, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Hold on, let me look at this again. There she is! Okay.
Okay. All right. I don't know if I've hit five shots in a row like that this entire game. Okay. There's no way we get through here without a fucking fight. Really? You're gonna be okay, Joe. I don't know what I'm injecting you with, but I'm sure it's good for you. Think happened. All citizens, the contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Well, why would they even broadcast that? There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Uh, do I though? Do I really? Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Well, the only gear I got is first aid spray. Any other gear? <laughs> See you in hell, Joe. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry point is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Detonator.
Yep. Don't even want to bother pulling that gun out. What the fuck was that? God damn it. I wonder if Jill can pick that up. Did not expect that one. Christ, there's another fucking one here. Oh boy, this can't be good. Come on, you cunt. Oh man, did I get lucky. <laughs> I blowed it up good. Hey, achievement unlocked. I need a hero. Carlos, you all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. 
Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. <laughs> Ballsy motherfucker. <laughs> Wow, are we still playing as Carlos? Oh, okay, no. Where the hell's Tyrell? Jill. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Well, that ain't good. Are any of my dreams not fucked up? Where am I? What's going on? What's going on? Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. Objective, leave the sick room. <laughs> What's this? G18 handgun? Oh, it's my handgun. But if it's my handgun, why is it only taking up one slot? Well, at any rate... Huh, interesting, but I guess this one's better. Me. Okay. What time be it? Quarter to one. I gotta get up at seven tomorrow or six or whatever. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. We'll definitely finish this tomorrow though. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, Thomas10273 on Twitch and Twitter, MSD3KNJ on YouTube. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow night to finish this off, hopefully. Have a good night, everybody. Peace!